Because first of all, my name is Jerry Kelso. I'm with Craft and Toll Engineers. Uh, we're a full service engineering and architecture firm. And uh, I can tell you we are delighted and, uh, and very humbled that uh, we have been selected for this particular project. Um, Obviously, our task at hand at this point is to evaluate three different sites um, and provide uh, cost estimates and things of that nature that can help the uh, authority board make a decision on site selection. Joyce. Um, I'm just looking at the next to last part of this, the final concept layout for you. I'm taking into account that this final presentation will talk about how it best serves three entities here and make a decision on the proper thing for you. But this fourth, the fourth entity here uh, happens to be the people in the area. Explain to me how you take that into account because these three institutions have large interests, but so do the people who are there. So what part of what you're doing will do something qualitative or however, and not just quantitative, mm -hmm. to give us a complete report about people in the area. Is that part of what you I, do? I, I think our, what our focus is and what the things we're going to be doing is going to be really more geared towards the engineering aspect. The issue that you're talking about with respect to the impact on the neighborhood, the authority will have to take that into consideration. But that's going to have to be the authority's uh, need to do that before uh, before a, a, a site is selected because that was my point about reminding you that the engineering firm is not going to make the decision yeah. as to where it goes. The board will make the decision and the board itself will have to take into consideration the question you ask. So I think where you want to put your, your emphasis is on the people sitting at the table to be sure that that is part of their deliberations before the site is selected. And I'm going to bring up a, a topic here in just a minute that's going to help us do that, which I think you'll be pleased. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll go to that. Okay. Okay. But, so let me go to the next topic because I think particularly with respect to Senator uh, Elliott's uh, uh, question, it, it will speak to that. Uh, w the, the board, I think, needs uh, additional um, input uh, and one of the consultants, uh, one of the individuals that was with that consulting firm uh, is an extraordinary uh, expert on looking at these sorts of issues and including the kinds of questions that uh, Senator Elliott asked about the impact on neighborhoods and things like that. Uh, and what we are, uh, are going to recommend to the, what we're going to recommend to the board today, uh, and we'll take a vote on that, is uh, to engage Diltz Consulting. Uh, Charlie Diltz is the principal, uh, and have him come. He is familiar with these because he was part of that original report and have him come and look at the questions, the kind of questions, uh, Joyce, that you are asking, okay? Uh, Dixon, would you like to say something about this particular contract, if we can negotiate with Charlie? Yes, Madam Chair. Uh Charles Dilts was a member of the Tangle Technology Study Team. He's not an employee of Tangle Technology, but he was a contract member of their team. And his charge, or his role in their study was to, to uh, be the uh, expert with respect to, to park development and financing. His background uh, is in the, the management and the development of research parks uh, over probably 30, 40 years. He was uh, head of the, uh, he was the director of the Philadelphia Science Park for many years and most recently has been assisting and advising the uh, Piedmont Triad uh, Research Park development in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Uh, I'm, I'm recommending that the board authorize 
his engagement and uh, to do so on a very uh, limited basis uh, to allow him to come in for two visits and to, to consider the engineering results of crafting toll and to advise the board uh, based on his evaluation of the of the uh, engineering report and other considerations so he can make a recommendation uh, to the board. The, uh, the two visits and sometime uh, in his own uh, office uh, work with working with the information plus travel time I would uh, propose that we authorize a not to exceed ten thousand dollars toll, and to authorize his engagement. And if the board uh, agrees to do that, I, I, I'll have a second motion with respect to the to the meeting schedule and and the relationship with the engineering report uh, presentations. Before. Uh, I guess as part of the motion, I would move the engagement of uh, Dilks Consulting. Uh, and as part of the motion, we state that it's impractical and, in, and unfeasible to invite competitive proposals because of the small amount of the, of the engagement and, and the unique background that he brings uh, in familiarity already with what's been done and that would you consider that my motion on the table okay thank you sir do we have a second and then we'll have a discussion a second. okay we have a motion on a second senator johnson has seconded it uh comments and questions from the board i i, I have a couple or maybe at least sort of one comment that i think it relates questions on the floor so that we really get an understanding and assessment of the impact to the residents because I think that that's one of the questions that I may have heard yeah. so there's so, so that's what I'd like to put on the table okay. I, I don't know if I'm misunderstanding the timeline but if the, if the engineers are going to give their reports mm -hmm. and make a and make a they're not making a recommendation. All they're going to do is give us their report on the three sides. Oh, when they their report. And the reason I was asking about the people in that, it seems to me the report would not be complete if you don't have that part of the report. Yeah. So they have to make a recommendation. That's the point I was making about I understand about the three institutions. That gives us a sense of how their interests are served. And I don't know how we're going to be the board. We'll be Make a, a decision without Senator, I, I, I don't disagree with your comments, but the issue is that, uh, first of all, all of these sites are bigger than what you're going to end up taking. Uh, and uh, if you tried to do that for all of these sites and, and the entire area that all of them do, uh, this is a huge undertaking and very costly.
Okay, let us move on. We've, I think, had a lot, everybody's had a chance. But the, the, the issue on the table is the motion to uh, offer to uh, Charlie Dietz a contract for a consulting work. Uh, any other comments from the board itself or questions? If not, uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, it's a unanimous vote that we will indeed uh, try to engage Charlie on the conditions that uh, uh, Dixon has set out, okay? 